Hey guys, so it doesn't matter where I am in the world, there is stuff to talk about with SpaceX. And so here are some news updates from Avita. Hey guys, so I'm not in Boca Chica. I'm in Ibiza or Ibiza right now is how most of us say it in the US. But I wanted to go over some updates about SpaceX, including the second static fire test of Booster 9, which was much more successful than the first test. SpaceX performed a static fire test of the Starship Super Heavy Booster. That was the full duration of nearly six seconds and that was much longer than the first test was, which lasted about 2.4 seconds. So it didn't go as long as planned. This one lasted the full duration. That was the first good sign. The second good sign was that the first test, only 29 out of the 33 engines ignited. But on this one, all 33 ignited. However, two of them went out during the test. Also, regarding the upcoming Starship flight test number two, we learned that a new not Mar has been issued. That is that notice to Mariners. And so that date has been changed from no earlier than August 31st to now no earlier than September 8th which means that I can keep exploring here in Spain. I am very optimistic that I won't be missing any sort of SpaceX Starship launch. I know that some people have asked me if the launch is approaching and it does look like they're making a lot of progress, possibly to see it in September. But you have to remember, we still have the lawsuit uh, hang up that hasn't been resolved yet. So. Even if SpaceX is ready to go, that still may be an issue. It's, it's really hard to tell, but for now we know that it shouldn't be any earlier than September 8th, which gives me more time to explore. I should also mention that we saw the Crew-7 launch. So this is actually the 10th human crewed space flight that SpaceX has conducted sending astronauts to the ISS. This was a crew of four astronauts and it was the first all international crew that was sent to the ISS uh, this weekend. The first flight was actually scrubbed and they didn't really go into reasons why, but thankfully the second one went off without a hitch. And it was actually nearly a 30 hour journey. So compare that to the nearly 15 hour journey that I took getting here to Ibiza, Spain. I flew directly from Austin to London and then I had to get a connecting flight in London here to the island. So that was felt pretty long and that wasn't nearly what these astronauts went through. We also learned that the DOJ has sued SpaceX but they're getting a lot of public support on this one. Now they're being accused of allegedly discriminating in their hiring practices. So refusing to hire refugees and people seeking asylum in the US. But Elon has clapped back defending this, saying this. So the DOJ alleges in the lawsuit filed Thursday that between September 2018 and May 2022, SpaceX violated the Immigration and Nationality Act by discouraging refugees and asylum recipients to apply for available positions in their marketing materials, rejecting or refusing to hire them and hiring only U.S. citizens and permanent residents. On X, Elon Musk called the lawsuit yet another case of weaponization of the DOJ for political purposes. He said SpaceX was told repeatedly that hiring Hiring anyone who is not a permanent resident of the United States would violate international arms trafficking law, which would be a criminal offense. The Justice Department is ultimately seeking to have SpaceX pay civil penalties determined by a judge and hire the applicants who were qualified but rejected because of their citizenship status and also give back pay to those who were discriminated against according to the DOJ. And people are agreeing with him publicly, showing support, saying that this is absolutely ridiculous. And this professor posted on X saying, do you know who else advertises that only U.S. citizens can apply for a job? Well, the DOJ. Elon reposted this saying, DOJ needs to sue themselves. I just can't. The irony is too much. There's public support, including from a familiar face, Dr. Phil Metzger. He says that the laws are so bad and horrendous that he often thinks about getting out of aerospace entirely. He says they threaten the destruction of your family. He says, can you imagine being an aero worker with a spouse and young children who need you, who have you ripped away from them and sent to prison and your home and money gone from legal defense fees for a mistake at work? He says, and now imagine deciding to serve your country by working in that field despite the personal risk because you love your country and then you are threatened with personal destruction over and over again. That is the life of a U.S. aerospace worker.
One of the cool things that I've noticed too is that there are a lot of little islands. In fact, Ibiza is not that large of an island, but you can see little islands out there in the distance. I'm almost tempted to try and swim to them, but I know that's a bad idea. One thing that I will say I'm very glad about is that my leg has been holding up beautifully. We're almost to that six month mark, but I'm so glad that my leg is good in time for this trip to Spain. And I'm thinking about actually extending the trip a little bit just because I flew all the way here. So might as well check out some nearby countries. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's a little bit different of a format out here. I've had to stop recording many times because there are so many planes that go overhead. Here in Ibiza, Spain, it's very interesting to me. I actually haven't been out of the country since I was 11 years old. So it is quite an experience, but I absolutely love being in a foreign place and seeing different parts of the world. To me, it's one of the most meaningful things that you can actually do. So here is just another look. This is the Hard Rock Resort here in Ibiza, which is actually pronounced Ibiza. So I'm not gonna be seeing any rockets while I'm here, but I have seen a lot of planes landing and taking off. So. I will keep you guys updated if there are any other big news updates. And uh, yeah, thank you for rolling with the punches and mm, I don't think it's too bad of a studio location anyway.